Have you ever wondered why God made you? I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I want to show you an interactive object lesson for kids called the Mother of Invention. This object lesson uses inventions like cars, light bulbs, and refrigerators to teach kids that God doesn't need anything or anyone. He created everything, even you and me, for his own glory. For more free ideas like this one, visit kidsenjoyingjesus.com. Do you know what kind of picture my son is holding right here? This is an x-ray picture of a bone. Now you have to hold very still when an x-ray machine takes a picture of you. So, can you hold very still and tell me some reasons why you think people needed to invent x-ray machines? To help doctors find and fix broken bones and other problems in the body. Right! Doctors need x-rays to help them treat people who are hurt or sick. People sometimes say necessity is the mother of invention. This means that the main reason people invent new things is because we need them. My beloved boy is going to grab more pictures of inventions out of this really cool looking green bag. And we're going to think about why people made these different inventions. Why do we need them? What's the first one? A refrigerator. All right, now can you guys pretend to open a refrigerator door and look inside? And then find what you need and close it again so that you don't waste energy. Can you think about why we need refrigerators? What do we use them for? What do you think? Food cold. What kind of food do we need to keep in a refrigerator? Milk, butter, all kinds of dairies and... And meat? Yep. So there's lots of food that would go bad if we didn't have it in a refrigerator. In fact, we even use our refrigerator to keep the food for our lizard. So there's lots of different reasons we use them, but do you think God ever needs a refrigerator? No. No, no way. God doesn't need anything. All right, let's look at the next invention. A microscope. Ooh, can you guys all pretend to look through a microscope and think about why do we need microscopes? Why do you think people invented microscopes? What do you think? So we can study stuff that's way too tiny for us to really see. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that we can't see with our normal eye. It's way, 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 way too small. But microscopes help us to study diseases and other things so we can learn more about them. Do you think God has ever needed a microscope? No way. God doesn't need anything. He has everything he needs already. Let's look at the next invention. A microwave. Ooh, can you guys pretend to push the buttons on a microwave? Beep, 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 boop. Why do we use microwaves? Why do you think they were invented? To warm up food that's cold. Yes, we use it to quickly warm up food. Now we don't really need microwaves because you could use an oven or even a fire to warm up food, but they sure come in handy. Do you think God ever needs a microwave? No. No, no way. God has everything he needs. God doesn't need anything. Let's try another invention. A light bulb. Can you guys pretend to flip a light bulb switch? Click. And think about what are some things we need light bulbs for? To see in the dark. Yeah, it helps us to be able to see in the dark, maybe with a flashlight or in a dark room. We also use light bulbs to light up a traffic signal. The green, red, and yellow lights are lit by light bulbs. In our house, we even use a light bulb to keep our pet snake warm. So there's lots of different reasons that we need light bulbs. But do you think God has ever needed a light bulb? No. No way. God has everything he needs. He doesn't need anything. Let's look at another invention. A car. Can you guys pretend to drive a car? <laughs> Now, what are some reasons that people need cars? Why do you think that cars were invented? So that they can go places faster than just walking? Yes, yeah, so what are some places that you go in your car? What are some places you go in your car? We go into the zoo, parks, to our grandma and grandpa's. We also go to church, and some people use a car to get to work. There's lots of different reasons that people use cars. But do you think God has ever needed a car? No. No way. God has everything he needs. God doesn't need anything. Let's look at another one. A phone. Can you guys pretend to talk on the phone? And think about why do we need phones? What are some things that you use a phone for? Or people in your family use a phone for? What do you think? So that we can talk to people who are far away or just close by, but they can't hear us even if we yell. Yeah, we use it to talk to people. I also use my phone as a camera and a calculator, and I use my phone to look up stuff that I don't know. But do you think God has ever needed a phone? No. No way. God has everything that he needs. God doesn't need anything. All right, I think there's one more in there. A computer. Can you pretend to type on a computer? And think about why do people need computers? What do you think? To look stuff up that they don't know about or to work. 
Yeah, I use my computer for work all the time, and I also use my computer to edit video. People use computers for lots of different things, but do you think God has ever needed a computer? No, no way! God doesn't need anything. All of us have used some of these inventions that we just looked at. We use some of them every single day, but how many of these things does God need? None. None. Can you make a big zero with your hands and say zero? God has never needed anything. He created everything in the universe for his glory, not because he needed it. The Bible actually tells us about that. So listen to these words from the Bible. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Everything God made, even you, was created to glorify him. God's glory is his perfect and powerful awesomeness. The Bible also says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. This tells us your purpose. The reason you exist is to glorify God. God made you to glorify and enjoy him forever. Let's all do that together. Ready? God made you to glorify and enjoy him forever. It's like God's way of saying, look what I did. Look how perfect and powerful I am. I enjoy you and I want you to enjoy me. God doesn't need anything or anyone. He's totally happy and complete on his own, but he made everything, even you, so you can enjoy him and show his incredibly awesome, epic amazingness. Do you enjoy God and show off his glory? You can use inventions to remind yourself about this. What inventions do you have in your house? Which ones do you use every day? It could be the microwave or maybe the computer. Choose an invention in your house that you, you or your family uses every day. And then whenever you use it, or maybe even when you see it, just stop and think about the one who invented you. Tell him something you enjoy about him and ask him to help you show how incredibly awesome he is. You can find lots more fun ideas like this one in our book, Enjoying God, My Creator. You can tell them this free activity guide to discover how you can use panda ants, pottery, and planets to enjoy our awesome creator with kids. These are simple ideas that use simple materials to point kids to God. Download your free digital copy today at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. But before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.